breakpoint we started the breakpoint already in breakpoint we have seen some stuff some stuff like types of breakpoint types of a breakpoint so under the types of breakpoint uh, we are having basically two types of breakpoints one is the session breakpoints session breakpoints and another we are having the external breakpoint external and breakpoints so there are two types of breakpoint basically we are having now now <clears throat> so there are two types of breakpoint this is one and another is this one okay <laughs> now what actually i'm trying to tell it over here under the session breakpoint it will be there till the time when your session will be there you know uh, by the time when your session will be there above session during the above session during the above session above session as long as you will be there in the session it will be valid external breakpoint it is only for two hours only for two hours it is this is valid after two hours it will just come out when how we are going to use this one how we are going to use this particular you know uh particular different kind of breakpoint that we will see okay so under the breakpoint come over here and go to the program go to ac38 and we have we are using some program let me check yeah this is the program which we are talking about in our last class okay fine so if you have to put the session breakpoint you know that we have to use this particular button okay if you have to put the external breakpoint you will have to use this particular button okay i'm going to use the session breakpoint session breakpoint will be used if you are going to you know run this program here itself in the on the same application server on the same system okay from the same system if you're going to call any program or function module there you can use this session breakpoint it will work okay it will work external breakpoint also you can use for the same system also it will work and from another system if you have the two different system in that case also it will work okay suppose you have the application server one means the system suppose a system you have uh, some system name let us suppose you have abc some system abc generally system name will be you know of three characters or four characters like that if you have another system abc and def two system you have and from some browser if you have some browser or some java application or dot net application from that you are calling through the rfc your current system okay any external system any external system so if we're going to call through any external system okay so this external system can be your you know uh your system your sap system also your sap system also or non sap system also okay this is your current sap system this is your current sap system and this current sap system you are going to call from the external system like a dot net application or java application something like that okay dot net or java or non sap or any non sap system or any non sap system okay pi system yeah or pi pi system also. okay or from the pi system also okay so now and this is so this this you can call through the sap system or 
you can use this external breakpoint it will be valid for two hours again after two hours you will have to put the external breakpoint okay if you need for longer time fine so now again come back over here and because here the program i'm going to call in the same system itself because i have to debug i'm going to put this particular you know session breakpoint so you can put the session breakpoint in two way uh, even you can put in three way also one you can put the cursor over there and click on this button okay okay you can by clicking over here you can remove it okay or okay and if you put the you know here once again you can go and click over here automatically the session breakpoint will be created this is how you can do right click also you can do and uh, uh, from here also maybe you can get some option to put the breakpoint you can check okay but this is two way just we can see that now i'm going to run this one run this f5 you have seen f5 means a step by step okay f6 means if there is some function module right if there is some function module then and if you want to directly execute this one you don't want to go inside then you are going to use f6 okay then you are going to use f6 if you again come back to this particular point you are here now you are here now if you want to again come back over here you are going to use shift f12 or if you don't remember the shift f12 put the cursor where you want to go go to this debugger and go to a statement you can use the shortcut also they have given it over here okay the shortcut also they have given it over here now now suppose if you want to come back here once again at this particular point so shift f12 okay so what this shift f12 will do it will directly jump in between a statement will not be executed okay again from here i want to go here shift f12 so in between a statement what is here it will not you know be executed it will directly jump so if you want to jump you can you know jump using the shift f12 okay you can jump using the shift f12 again i came back i jumped to this particular you know a break point using the shift f12 and now what i want i want to put my cursor over here and i want my control should stop over here but this time all these statements should be executed it should not jump over there it should not jump to this it should go by executing all this statement for that particular case we use shift f8 shift f8 okay so you can see that shift f8 that means all this statement has been executed okay all that statement has been executed if you want to test it put the breakpoint over here and use shift f shift f8 put the cursor and use the shift f8 you can see that it has stopped over here i have pressed shift f8 okay so my cursor was here and when i pressed shift f8 it was executing all this statement but in between it found this particular breakpoint okay in between it found this particular breakpoint and it stopped over there okay so shift f8 if you don't remember here you are having all the option over here so continue to cursor means continue continue means executing all this lining it is continuing the process okay shift f12 means go to means jump to it it name better uh, sap should give its name better jump to a statement okay that would be more intuitive name but they have given go to a statement that's fine okay now this particular things you understood one more thing here i would like to put your attention is that you can see that there is a difference between this breakpoint and this breakpoint okay i have put the breakpoint over here right here so during the session during the debugger session i'm talking about the during the debugger session when i'm putting this particular breakpoint okay and this was initially itself in the program directly i have put 
so what will happen actually when you will press f8 just press f8 some error occurred no problem click on this okay you can see that that breakpoint i have put it over there during the debugger session that is not there but this session is there means this breakpoint is there because this breakpoint is the session breakpoint and that breakpoint which i have put during the you know debugger session this breakpoint again i have put during the debugger session you can see over here you know as soon as we are coming out from the debugger session you know this breakpoint is going disappear it will not be permanent it will be during the debugger session so maybe one more type of breakpoint you can add it over here i don't know exactly what its name but at this point of time you know i'm just going to tell debugger breakpoint during the debugger session okay breakpoint during the debugger session i need to find out its exact name okay so i'm just going to tell debugger uh, breakpoint during the debugger session so what its exact name i will check it what sap has given its name okay that i will write it over here but a uh, kind of breakpoint this is also a you know so maybe as of now i can tell debugger breakpoint okay i will correct if something regarding name is going to be you know incorrect or you can also check your cell phones please okay so debugger breakpoint during the debugger session only it will be there as soon as during the debugger session only it will be there as soon as you will come out from the debugger it will be it will be there as soon as it will come out from the debugger it will it will be gone okay but now you want it it should be there permanently right suppose if you want it should be there permanently so how you can convert this particular debugger breakpoint into the session breakpoint like this how you can convert you will have sorry you have to save uh, that particular uh, right yeah very good very good so if you click on this save button this particular you know debugger breakpoint will be converted to the session breakpoint okay and that will be your permanent breakpoint so and this is the point this we understood f5 uh, f5 we understood f6 we understood f7 we have to understand what is the use of f7 and if it is mute from your side uh, kindly mute from your side please if you don't have any question yeah thank you so here you know uh, f7 and f8 f8 you know that if you have to complete the full execution completely right if you put somewhere here cursor and if you think that if you put uh, press f8 it will stop it will not stop over here f8 means complete execution it will only stop where you are having the breakpoint set okay so press f8 i'm just pressing f8 over here and press f8 and uh, you know uh press f8 okay now i have one question in my mind can you please tell me what is the difference between f8 and shift f8 what is the difference between f8 and shift f8 what is the difference between f8 and shift f8 shift f8 yeah, tell me yeah, please go ahead and tell yes so the f8 means uh, it will execute that particular flow one go yeah so suppose uh, yeah suppose if you put the cursor over here it will not stop okay in f yeah. shift f yeah in f8 if you put uh, look, uh, for example suppose if you're going to you know put the cursor over here and if you think that if you press f8 it will not step but if you press shift f8 if you put the cursor over here and if you press shift f8 you know it will stop it over here it will execute this statement also and it will stop over there 
okay okay now what is f7 so to demonstrate f7 i will have to go inside this function module so press f5 and go inside this function module this is the you know bapi which is a rfc enabled function module we have come and suppose if you realized that you know that if this is not of your work means this is not of your you know this is not uh, uh, required for your uh, debugging purpose so what you can do you can press f7 and you can come back okay so as soon as you will press f7 it will complete the execution for this particular function module and you can come back over here okay 